Sarah's picked up. Yes, Bill. Sarah! You picked up. Bill, just put the phone down and let me talk to Sarah. Oh, and thanks for last night. You are on form. Alright. Oh, You okay. Mm. Good night, wasn't it? I thought it was a good night. Food was great. What did Lucy want on the phone? Was she uh, apologising for the sparkling James Iron Fraser? I can't believe she's going to marry him. Then again, I can't see her giving back that big fuck off ring either. Hello? That's all right. I'll take the cafeteria. So what did I do wrong? I, I passed around the nuts, the olives. Yeah, I made sure everyone was served before me, except that last bit of chicken. Granted, I really tried hard. I remember not to talk about myself too much. Even when Lucy kept asking me what I was up to, I steered it. I steered the conversation to the sparkling James Hind Fraser. Oi! Hey, I'll tell you now, it's a lot more fun at your end with Beth and Eddie. I'll tell you that for nothing. Although I'm not sure how much I can take of Eddie when he's fallen in love. Yeah, it's like losing a friend to Jesus. Apparently, apparently it's a real thing with, um, with old Beth. It's exactly what he said about Elaine before she dumped him. That's a secret, by the way. Eddie hasn't told Beth yet that Elaine dumped him and not the other way around. Except that Beth does know, doesn't she? Because I told everyone last night when I was pissed. Damn, damn shouldn't drink. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie didn't hit me, did he? It was like someone give me a smack. <laughs> Maybe it was James, eh? And the way his darling Lucy was all over me like a rash. I mean, you know what she's like. She's had a drink, she gets all, you know, touchy-feely, doesn't she? Yeah, she's always had a soft spot for me, which I in no way encourage. Never. Why don't you end? You... You... You bloody hit me! For what? For soaking up Lucy's drunken attention? I suppose she's told you about our mad, passionate affair we've been having, hasn't she? Sweet, I was only... Come on, let's not be... I mean... You... Uh, that was a joke, by the way, you know, about the mad, passionate affair. You know, what's only mess. <laughs> now, in light of the sexual drought around here, I can see why you might think I'll be playing away! Did, um... Lucy, by any chance, you know, say something about, um... Andalusia? Jesus, Sarah. That was 1998. You and I, we hadn't been seeing each other that long, you know, and, and we were arguing a lot. Lucy was being very, very supportive. You know, and you've got that hornet's bite in your neck, yeah, blew up like an elephant's leg. <laughs> you ended up in hospital overnight. Yeah, and that bloody idiot coffee trader that, that Lucy's seen, he just starts to go wandering off to the hills, you know, and he didn't come back. So it's just me and Lucy in an old, creepy farmhouse. And we sought comfort in each other. Is that so terrible? That isn't what Lucy told you, is it? You know what? I don't care. No, I don't. I'm still glad I told you, Sarah. 
Because the important thing about that night is that it saved our relationship. Yes, it did. Oh, yes. Yes, it did. Because it made me realise that I wanted to be with you, sweetheart. Not some little sex bomb. Yeah, I should have told you before. I should have, t I should have told you last September. When you confessed to that fling you had with, what's his name? Yeah, Stefan. From that yoga week you went to on your own in Skiathos. Yeah? But I didn't. I couldn't face it, yeah? And I was kind of enjoying the moral high ground for a change. And it did lead to some excellent sex. Because you felt so guilty. Right, I can't. So I suppose it's over, Sarah, yeah? Well, that's fine by me. So be it! But first, would you please tell me what Lucy told you? Because if it wasn't about Andalusia, then there isn't much else to tell. Nothing else, in fact. Unless... Unless she mentioned something that was nothing, really. Something like what happened last September when you were in Skiathos cheating on me. I really thought it was over between us. Lucy turns up. She was in a hell of a state, you know. You know, yabbing on about her latest failure at love and well, a bottle of wine later and she started unbuttoning my shirt. And I went with it for a while. And it was fucking great. Sarah, I think about sex every seven seconds or something, you know? That is a lot. A lot of accumulated thinking with, with no action. I mean, I should get a fucking medal! Not the silent treatment! Please, please understand that nothing really happened. Nothing meaningful. Baby. Okay. Okay, so she went down on me. Oh, I, it wasn't my idea. I get the impression it's what she does, you know. She seemed to enjoy it. Fair play to her. Oh, this is a bit, yeah. I'll get down on my knees, yeah, and beg for forgiveness. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because if you can't see your part in all of this, then, then fuck it, okay? Fuck it! Life's too short. Sarah, Sarah, stop! Sarah, baby, I'm only joking. I, baby, I love you. Please don't, please don't, please don't leave a piss off. Not, not you, Sarah, the phone. Don't, don't, I love you, baby, I'm really so... Hi, this is Sarah. And Bill. Please leave a oh, message. Your... Bill, Sarah, you there? Please pick up if you're there. God, I'm really sorry about last night. What I said to you at the end, Sarah, about Bill and Elaine, it wasn't true. Nothing happened between them. Nothing, I was just... Trying to get back at Bill for, for what he said. I'm sorry, I hope it hasn't caused a problem. <laughs>